सीन पेश किया आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक लीडर ऑफ द ऑपोजिशन मिस्टर शबाज शरीफ इन दिस स्टेट ऑफ अलर्टनेस फॉर शोइंग सॉलिडारिटी विद द पीपल ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड द स्टेट ऑफ पाकिस्तान Mr Speaker Mr Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has offered that in these testing times he is willing to have a bipartisan approach on foreign policy I take this offer and I invite Mr Bilawal Bhutto Zardari and Mr Shahbaz Sharif both leaders and the leader of the MMA to the foreign office and we are willing to seek their input on foreign policy because this is the time This is a time where the nation stands together. This is a time to send a message across to the east that Pakistan is united. Pakistan is united to defend itself and Pakistan is united to defend Pakistan's and protect Pakistan's interests. So, I invite you sir, I invite Mr. Shahbaz Sharif and uh, other important parliamentary leaders to the foreign office so that so that we can have a bipartisan approach on important foreign policy matters mr speaker on one clarification uh he did pay tribute to uh scorn leader hasan sadiqi absolutely he is a national hero but i would like to i would like to uh clarify the two indian planes were shot down one was shot down by scorn leader hasan sadiqi and you often forget the other hero wing commander noman ali khan who shot down the other plane so i would like i would like to uh pay tribute to wing commander noman ali khan as well mr speaker the honorable leader of one of the major the uh, indian captured pilot yes sir it was discussed and we did it in pakistan's interest we thought we thought by doing that we will be signaling a message of deescalation and that message went loud and clear it went loud and clear and it was appreciated it was appreciated all over the world everybody acknowledged that pakistan acted responsibly and pakistan responded immediately and it has been recorded and appreciated mr speaker the honorable member of parliament has raised the issue of pakistan should not have boycotted the foreign ministers uh, meeting in uh, abu dhabi for the oic a uh, foreign ministers uh, meeting once again i would like to put it on record this was an important issue and we debated we saw the advantages we saw the disadvantages we, we weighed the pros and the cons of doing or not doing so now there were views and the house there was a divided opinion many experts had two views some thought by going and engaging as mr zardari very aptly put when he spoke when he stood on the floor of the house that pakistan should remain engaged and there is the other view the other view and the other view was also from a major party of the opposition and khwaja asif sahab uh, very articulately projected that point of view that pakistan should oppose a uh, 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 protest and boycott the session and uh former foreign minister dastagir khurm dastagir khan sahab who was negotiating on behalf of his party when we were drafting the resolution wanted a word included and that was not just by courting the inaugural session in protest he said the view of the opposition and i'm here to reflect the view of the opposition and that is that we should completely am i right sir completely completely boycott in protest and sir mr speaker a, 
a resolution was signed and passed unanimously by this house. We have often said we believe in the supremacy of parliament. We have often said parliamentary sovereignty is very important. Then, Mr. Speaker, <gasps> you tell I would like to thank the leader of the opposition, Mr. Shabazz Sharif, in this state of alertness for showing solidarity with the people of Pakistan and the state of Pakistan. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Bilawat Bhutto Zardari has offered that in these testing times, he is willing to have a bipartisan approach on foreign policy. I take this offer and I invite Mr. Bilawal Bhutto Zardari and Mr. Shabazz Sharif, both leaders and the leader of the MMA to the Foreign Office and we are willing to seek their input on foreign policy. Because this is a time, this is a time where the nation stands together. This is a time to send a message across to the East that Pakistan is united. Pakistan is united to defend itself and Pakistan is united to defend Pakistan's and protect Pakistan's interests. So, I invite you, sir, I invite Mr. Shabazz Sharif and uh, other important parliamentary leaders to the Foreign Office so that, so that we can have a bipartisan approach on important foreign policy matters. Mr. Speaker, on one clarification, uh, he did pay tribute to uh, Skoran leader Hassan Sadiqi. Absolutely, he's a national hero. But I would like to, I would like to uh, clarify the two Indian planes were shot down. One was shot down by squadron leader Hassan Siddiqui. And we often forget the other hero, Wing Commander Noman Ali Khan, who shot down the other plane. So I would like, I would like to uh, pay tributes to Wing Commander Noman Ali Khan as well. Mr. Speaker, the honorable leader of one of the the uh, Indian captured pilot. Yes, sir. It was discussed, and we did it in Pakistan's interest. We thought, we thought by doing that, we will be signaling a message of de-escalation and that message went loud and clear it went loud and clear and it was appreciated it was appreciated all over the world everybody acknowledged that pakistan acted responsibly and pakistan responded immediately and it has been recorded and appreciated mr speaker the honorable Member of Parliament has raised the issue of Pakistan should not have boycotted the foreign minister's uh, meeting in uh, uh, Abu Dhabi for the OIC uh, foreign minister's uh, meeting. Once again, I would like to put it on record, this was an important issue and we debated. We saw the advantages, we saw the disadvantages, we, we weighed the pros and the cons of doing or not doing so. Now, there were views and the House, there was a divided opinion. Many experts had two views. Some thought by going and engaging, as Mr. Zardari very aptly put when he spoke, when he stood on the floor of the House, that Pakistan should remain engaged. And there was the other view. The other view. And the other view was also from a major party of the opposition. And Khwaja Asif Sahab uh, very articulately projected that point of view, that Pakistan should oppose uh, a, a, a protest and boycott the session. And uh, former Foreign Minister Dastagir, Khorum Dastagir Khan Sahab, who was negotiating on behalf of his party when we were drafting the resolution, wanted a word included. And that was not just by courting the inaugural session. In protest, he said, the view of the opposition 
And I'm here to reflect the view of the opposition, and that is that we should completely, am I right, sir? Completely, completely boycott in protest. And, sir, Mr. Speaker, a, a resolution was signed and passed unanimously by this House. We have often said we believe in the supremacy of Parliament. We have often said parliamentary sovereignty is very important. Then, Mr. Speaker, <gasps> you tell